For single displacement reactions, we can use something called the activity series to tell if they'll actually take place. For example, if we put a penny in hydrochloric acid, how can we tell if the zinc or the copper or both will react with the hydrochloric acid? For that, we need the activity series. Simply put, the more active elements, the ones at the top of the activity series, they're going to replace the less reactive elements at the bottom. So let's look at zinc and hydrochloric acid. The zinc's inside the penny. We put it in the hydrochloric acid. Will it react? So here's the reaction that could take place. So we have zinc and hydrogen. These both form positive ions. We find zinc right here and then hydrogen. So zinc is higher up in the activity series. That means that zinc, that's going to be able to push the hydrogen out. The hydrogen will be all by itself. The zinc, it replaces the hydrogen. We get zinc chloride. So this reaction does happen. But what about copper in hydrochloric acid? So we find copper and hydrogen. Here's copper right above it, hydrogen. So copper is less reactive than hydrogen. That means the copper, it can't push the hydrogen out. It's less reactive, so we have no reaction. Pause and try this one. Will this reaction take place? We find magnesium and we find copper. Magnesium is much more reactive, so the magnesium can push the copper out in a single displacement reaction. The copper will be by itself. This reaction takes place. So the activity series, it's really useful for predicting these single displacement reactions. And teachers will often ask whether a reaction will take place. A single displacement reaction takes place on tests and homework. Pause and give these a try. Which of these reactions actually take place? For the first one, copper, that's above silver. So copper can replace the silver here. This reaction takes place. Magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Here's magnesium, here's hydrogen. Magnesium is higher, so magnesium, that can push the hydrogen out so it's all by itself. Yep, that one takes place. Sodium plus water. Here's sodium, very reactive. Here's our hydrogen, so sodium's more reactive. It pushes out hydrogen, so we end up with hydrogen by itself, and one of the hydrogen stays with the sodium here. So it's a little bit different, but this is also a single displacement reaction. This is Dr. B using the activity series to figure out whether single displacement reactions will occur or not. Thanks for watching.